Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Burlington, Washington, and I want to show you this stunning 1964 Mustang convertible we have here. Now, I know a lot of the history on this car because it belonged to a very good friend, and uh, he bought this car in 92, I, I can't remember exact, but 1992, and he bought it, a guy in California owned it. He rebuilt the engine and everything. He uh, worked for Shelby America when he was rebuilding this engine. We don't know, the engine feels healthy. So I, whether he did a lot to it or not, I don't know. But anyway, he moved up here and Bob bought the car from him for his wife. And uh, he even repainted the car and I guess it had a really good paint job on it, but he wanted it to be perfect. I mean, the paint is absolutely beautiful on this thing. He also started working on it. He had, the, when I bought it, he had the dash partially out. He had the front seat out. He had the steering wheel off. And it is set in the same spot for 13 plus years. Well, I don't know if that's accurate or not. It might have been 15 years. So anyway, after I bought it, we put it up on the rollback. We didn't even try to start it or do anything on, on it. And so I took it over to Joe at Old School Garage to have him uh, go through it. I bought a brand new gas tank for it. I didn't want to mess around with that stuff. Told Joe to buy four new wheel cylinders for it and everything. So we went through this car. Joe did a really good job on it and did all that. Then uh, the top, we. It wasn't right. It was it had a it had a tear in the one corner and stuff. So, I had uh, Rich's Custom Upholstery, who I've known for years. Also, he put a brand new top on it. So this top is all brand new here. And uh, anyway, he did a nice job. He he really does good work. His workmanship is really well. Anyway, I, that's kind of the history on this car. Bob died this year, and. Uh, I had already bought the car from him, but he got to see it here at Dreger's Clubhouse, so that was that was neat. And as you can see, it's got the style steel wheels on here. And I, did I mention that these tires on here w were probably this good, but they were date coated, so we put brand new tires on it yesterday. So it's got all brand new tires. But you can look at all this. It just all the finish on here is all really nice. This all looks really, really good. All this looks good. Of course, this top is all, he, he painted the bows underneath here and everything when he did it and stuff. And of course, the interior, you can just see it's just, it's, it's beautiful. We have, it, Rich told us not to put the top down for a month. So we haven't put the top down yet. That's just so it gets stretched into place, I guess, and fits it. But look at the end of the door here. Isn't that nice? I mean, how are you going to find one any any cleaner than that? Everywhere you look, like right here, same thing. It's all just clean and nice. And look at the interior. Red and white seats, not stock, but they're beautiful. And, of course, you can see the dash pad is all real, real good. It just looks great. Notice this thing's got a console. And it's an automatic, it's 289 automatic with power steering, manual brakes. But you can see how nice all that is and the, the whole interior and everything is good. Oop, I see a, something on the floor there I shouldn't, should have gotten rid of. But anyway, you can just see it. It's got seat belts in it too. So, and you can see this. It, both doors just close really good. So now what you're looking at is the underside of the doors. And you can see it's all good and solid. There's no rust. We haven't find any rust on it. This is the driver's side door here. And we'll look at the passenger side. I mean, they really close nice. It just, it's just really an outstanding car. I mean, I've been doing Mustangs. I don't know how many of these Mustangs I've sold over the years. 64 and a half to 66 mainly. Mostly all convertibles. I like to do that. Oh, and he also, brand new boot, still in the bag. We haven't taken it out yet. Uh, we've got floor mats here from the uh, car. 
There's a jack bag uh, right there. This does have a jack in it. It's it's in there, but I wanted to show you this. I mean, this is this is what I wanted to show you. So there's that brand new gas tank I bought. But I always look right here to see how if there's any rust in here. Uh, and it, it, as you can see, it's all real good that way. And it's just clean and nice. This thing is, again, I can't say it enough that this is an exceptional car. And this thing's bolted down. And so you got a spare on here. It's nothing, anything great. There's a jack underneath here. It's there, and it's got the, the Mustang lug wrench with it and everything. So you're all set that way. And again, it, I mean, you can just see how nice it's across the back. All this looks really, really good. I mean, everything. I mean, all the fit, the fit is nice on this thing. See how, how nice everything fits? Even these fit nice. I, that might be the Shelby guy doing the work there to do that. And again, the top is brand new. So, I mean, there's nothing I can tell you about it. You can see it in the well there a little bit, probably. It's just there. And again, everything, both sides, the the uh, drain vents are in here. Uh, on both sides, there's the boots are not there, but the drain vents are there. And again, this is the same way on this thing. It's just all real good, really clean. And the window rolls down good. And this door. Now we're looking at the underside of the passenger door. As you can see, it's just like the other side. They're just, they're great underneath there. There's, there's nothing you can complain about on this car. And it's nice. And I didn't close it hard enough. So now it's closed all the way. But you can see the fit is good. People like to know that sort of stuff, I guess. Anyway, uh, everything looks good. Again, the paint is just beautiful on this car. I think it was 2000 something when Bob had it painted. And of course, you got the style wheel, wheels on it and everything. So this is, gives you an idea how nice a car it is. This should give you a good chance to see the, how the sides look. Doesn't that look like a beautiful car? It's just gorgeous. I don't know how well you can see it in this video. I mean, you can see the cars going by on the freeway right there and everything, but you can just see how straight it is down there. It's really straight. This whole car is just super nice. And now we got the brand new top on there and everything. What a great car. This is probably one of the best Mustang convertibles I've had ever. Give us uh, lights, brake lights, turn signals, and the backup lights. Backup lights need a little adjustment. See, you can see they kind of work there, but they're not working right. Probably needs a little cleaning. We're gonna put the top down for you so you can see how well it operates. And everything here is all brand new underneath here. See right there, look at that stuff. It's all just fresh. It's not new, it's all repainted, but you can see the new rubber strips there. I mean, it, the top is all brand new, and now he's going to bring it back up for you so you can see it going up. You can see all that, it's all new. It all looks really, really good. And you can see the top just works great. Okay. So we're going to cold start this car. You can see it's everything's cold on it and it's act actually been sitting here for a day or two I think I don't know how long it's been sitting here we actually could it be since yesterday because yesterday we put brand new tires on it the old tires were really good but they're date coated nowadays so you got to watch that how's that I mean it just starts 
Isn't that a beautiful engine compartment? It just, it really looks good. It's cold, so it's got to warm up a little bit, too. Anyway, I, I don't know you'll find a Mustang with any nicer engine compartment. It had the Cobra valve covers on it when we bought it, but now uh, we added the Cobra air cleaner to it, too. It looks so much better with that on there. I mean, look how clean and nice that, that engine compartment and the, interior, the inner fender wells, all that just really, really looks good. great car. Any way you want to look at it. Oop. And you can hear it's quiet in here. I mean you get a little noise from the, having a convertible top on here, but overall it's quiet. There's no squeaks or rattles in it. It's it, it's solid car. It's just, it's really, really hard to find any car in this kind of condition it just doesn't happen it stays pretty straight but actually so anyway he had to adjust it just a little bit so it's pretty pretty good I mean this car is just so nice Doesn't it sound good yeah stopping straight there so it could be the crown of the road. We're going to go down I-5 now, southbound, so you can see how it works on the freeway. We already know how well it works on the freeway, but we want you to see how well it works on the freeway. Andrew likes driving this car, I think. I'm not positive how fast, if how accurate the speedometer is, but we're uh, we're driving right along. the clubhouse right there. Pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's showing 68 miles an hour right now. So the speedometer is pretty close. Radio works. 
heater works too. It puts out good heat. So you're gonna like this car. It's kind of an amazing, really well done car. It's had good life.